everybody, Pretzel Road here, and welcome back to another Polytopia livestream. Uh, so, today we are playing in domination mode, as per usual. Crazy uh, three opponents. We're playing the same uh, game as uh, last time, which means we actually only have two opponents. We're fighting a war on two fronts, though, because we just made both tribes angry at us. So, here we are. Um... We have officially ended the Umaji now. Um, alright. Now. Let's move back over here. And let's hope that the, um... In fact, it looks like we may be back a couple of turns. That's okay. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um... Instead of fighting the, uh, Shinshi directly right now... I'm going to, uh, begin just fighting the Bardur. Um. Alright, we'll do that there. Good. So we can now move our, uh, catapults all down. We'll, uh, build a port up here in this, uh, corner. Um. And from this port, we can begin raising a uh, small little naval fleet, possibly even a, a large one, um, in secret. Because I don't believe that any of the other tribes are aware of what's going on up here. So I'm going to uh, even do a little bit of upgrading to the city, build a city wall. And that will now give us the ability to train even more uh, soldiers up from there. And I'm gonna move down here from here. Oh, okay, so the uh, Shinshi still are uh, not happy with us. So let's recover our giant there and we'll just uh, keep that city um, occupied by the giant for now. I think that should be fine. Let's see, what are the official opinions on us? Yeah, so the Shinshi are still fine with us. Um, so I guess as long as we just don't do anything stupid, we should be fine. Um, as far as these guys are concerned, we can now begin um, begin preparing the naval fleet up here. Um, oh, we still need to research farming. I can't believe we haven't done that yet. In fact, you know what we should do? We should is we should we should uh, no, we can't destroy buildings yet. I think we should, at some point, destroy this building, burn the forest, and then make a farm there. Um, because that will produce more population for us, even if it's uh, kind of a bad deal in terms of the uh, actual value. I think it will be overall better for us. Um, I'm gonna mo I moved this guy over to the corner because I think he may be a little bit closer to the bar door now. I'm not certain. Uh, we'll train up another defender over here. Maybe we can do a couple of defenders. And we'll send both of them up this, up this way. Alright. Okay, so... Uh, I think the best way to do this is to build a port over here. Um, I'd like to uh, sort of keep my movements as much as possible um, out of the uh, Bardor's sight. Alright, we'll uh, get rid of that guy and we should be fine. We've got a- f there's a swordsman over there, but I think, yeah, this guy's got full health, so the swordsman shouldn't be of any concern to us. <laughs> This 
city is now ours. That's good news. Um, we're going to upgrade this guy to a battleship. We'll train another defender over here. We'll make this guy into a battleship and send him up here. And we'll do the same thing with this guy next turn. We'll train up another defender to replace him as well right now. Oh! The Shinshi are still trying to invade us. Which is funny considering that they have a, um... In the standings, they uh, apparently have a favorable view of us. So I'm not sure what that, uh, what that's all about. But we will, um... Just try to, I guess, make sure that the, all of our uh, cities along here are occupied. It doesn't look like they're actually attacking us. It looks like they're just over there, over here, which is strange. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that is. So we're going to send all of these guys up here. Maybe we can move everyone a little bit down so that our uh, last defender can be eventually upgraded into a ship from here, and I think that the next turn we'll send all of these guys down to, uh, over here. They've probably got a city probably, like, in here. So we can try that. In fact, how many cities does everyone have? Yeah, the Bardo only have one city, so it's probably right here. So if we can just begin sending a sending a large fleet down there, then we should be able to get rid of them. How much health does he have now? Nine. Uh, not bad. Not good. But not bad. Nobody needs recovery over here, right? This guy does. is going to be sent down all at once. We're basically going to um, do something like what the uh, Shinshi have over here, it looks like, um, where they're building up a, uh, a big fleet of boats to attack, except instead of um, just boats, we've got battleships, which are better in every way. Okay. So, everyone goes down here. Does this is a giant have? Got eight. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, uh, he's he's gone. <laughs> um, uh, we'll go up to chivalry and send in a knight. Um, one of my worries is that if the uh, if the Shinshi, uh, if the if the Shinshi are the ones to end the Bardur, then they'll get the points for that, not us. So. Ideally, we want to make sure that we are the ones who uh, are able to take out the Bardur. Alright. Alright, so... only going to attack Bard the Bardur. I'm going to be very selective about that. And, let's see. Yeah, so this guy can uh, attack some Shinshi boats, but I'm not going to do that yet. Alright. 
Looks good. Alright, how much health does he have after that little thing there? Um, we'll move this guy over here. We'll do like this. I'm gonna have this guy attack the boat. Hmm. Okay. We can do this. We'll send him into here. I'm not going to uh, use our knight to attack the boat. Oh, I accidentally did. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to though. Um, just for the risk of getting counterattacks. So I'm definitely not going to do the giant. Um, the boat that the giant's in. I'll use a battleship instead. Uh, we can attack the Shinshi now because the Bardur are um, basically extinct now. <clears throat> oh, oh. I was not paying attention to that mind bender. We should definitely move this guy out of the way of the mind benders. Ah, oh, god, mind benders suck. All right, great. The um, the Bardur are gone. Super unit. Nice, nice. All right, how much health does this super unit have? Thirty-four. All right, he's fine. do something like that. Fortunately, now we do have a bunch of battleships, which should make the extermination of the, um, Shinshi forces relatively easy. How much health does he have? 21. Ah. Alright, we'll train up a knight from over here. Alright, let's, um, Let's go on to our next turn and see, um, I guess we can still attack this one. I'll just move over here to explore that corner of the map, and let's go! Sorry about that. I don't think it should. We've got 
My uh, voice is clearing up. That's good. How much health does this giant have? 37. Okay. But, um, we've got a fair bit more to do in terms of getting rid of the Bardur over in our next city that we need to conquer, but it uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be, um, all that bad. Um, it seems like they're much more focused on protecting themselves, um, in the, uh, northern section of the map over here. Looks like they're far more concerned with, um, keeping this city, uh, than they're on, uh, actually. It, it seems like they're far more focused on keeping this city than on keeping their own cities. 
Um, this, remember, was the uh, old Umaji city. Uh, which is interesting. Um, yeah. We'll do another catapult over here. Uh, the roads tech. Um, now that's just sort of something I've been putting off for a while. I'm not sure why. Um, I guess it's just kind of expensive when it really felt relevant and then uh, once I could actually afford it, it was like, well, uh, do I really need this now? Um, that's kind of nice to have this though. Uh, we'll do border growth for our new city, um, our city up there. We've got a couple of squares of our, uh, of road over here. It doesn't look like that's actually necessary but because we've got ports, but it's helpful, nonetheless, useful. All right. Defender with a knight to attack the uh, Barlow Knight. I'm going to move right up to here. And here, now we can take the city. Look at that, that wasn't good. The, uh, so I do these live streams from my phone, and it sounds like maybe it's trying to use the uh, microphone on the back, which is strange. I don't know what the deal is with that. Game audio seems it sounds like it was maybe just comparatively high. I oh, don't know. Got no idea. So we can attack him, but really, um, um, all right. Um, we should. Build a road network um, to connect all of the cities on this body of land. All right. Now, hopefully, we will soon be able to uh, uncover what's back here. Presumably, their capital is either around here or back here. Uh, and taking their capital will definitely be a crippling blow, I think, for them. So, that's definitely one of my main goals right now. Um, I also want to, uh, get rid of these giant. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to try to do, in fact, is I'm going to, I'm going to go up to here, to this mountain, and let's see what this is. Yes, this is their capital. Alright, so I think, I think I'm going to try to take this one, but I imagine that's going to be a fairly, uh, a fairly large, um, 
and long attack. So, we can call that, I guess, then, the end of today's episode. We will make sure to save this game. Click the exit to menu button instead of just going to the home screen. Um, so yeah, if you